The armor of God, written about in Paul's letter to the Ephesians, is a great source of encouragement when we're feeling overrun by the world, by our failures, by the internal chatter in our minds, and by anything else that the devil throws at us. Particularly, verse 16 is very poignant. Quote, In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. I believe that many people miss the full weight of what Paul means by flaming arrows here, and so today I wanted to share with you what I feel he means, because it helps me in my own journey of faith. Throughout ancient and medieval warfare, flaming projectiles had a singular purpose, to enter the fortification and start a fire. The projectiles themselves were relatively meaningless. It was the destruction they had potential to do if they were allowed to land, catch fire, and remain so unsupervised. With this in mind, the analogy Paul uses is very profound and appropriate to the spiritual warfare we enter into when Christ opens our eyes and we become born again. Suddenly it's time to suit up and put that armor on because you realize you've been woken up to the greatest battle of the cosmos that is raging in plain sight. It is the battle between good and evil, and it's a battle fought in the territory of the human heart and human mind. Every single day the devil will throw flaming arrows at you. These arrows are designed to enter your mind and consume your life. Unwanted negative thoughts, irrational fears, feeling like God doesn't love you anymore or has changed his mind about you. Maybe even physical attacks, setbacks, unfortunate circumstances, and a laundry list of other things. As believers, we have encouragement and reassurance that Christ has overcome the world. And because of this, we too can overcome it through him. We are told that the Holy Spirit and his work in our lives is the guarantee of our inheritance and that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Throughout the Old and New Testaments, Jesus is called the rock and the cornerstone for a reason, and that is because faith in him is what leads to strength, life, and freedom from the slavery of the world. When we build our house on the rock and not on sand that shifts with the wind, we have a sure foundation that will never fail. This certainty is something the world can never provide, and that is why Christ overcame the world. The power of this verse now becomes quite clear. The devil will never stop throwing arrows at your life. You will be constantly tempted, frightened, pushed or pulled, and attacked. But God uses all things for the good. Through the shield of faith we have in Christ, we can stop these arrows from consuming our lives. It doesn't mean you'll stop the arrows from coming. It means you'll stop them from fulfilling their purpose, which is to consume and destroy your life. In the process, we are strengthened and built up as spiritual soldiers in this war. And that is why even evil in the end will serve to fulfill God's plan and glory for those whom he's chosen to save. The Psalmist David would write that he had no fear because God was at his right hand. The full meaning of this reference doesn't come across to us because we are far removed from the time this was written in, but it's a reference to battle. In formation, the man at your right was the shield bearer, and it was his role to protect you. Imagine now what it means that God is at your right hand, that God himself is your shield. What a beautiful image. So, remember that the Bible says, fear not over 360 times. That means that at least once a day, we must remind ourselves to fear not and equip that shield of faith. Certainly easier said than done, but remember that flaming arrows are useless if they can't start a fire. Don't let the devil into your mind to run amok. Instead, learn to flee back to Christ when you're feeling surrounded by the flames. His word is sure and it leads to life and he is our shield of faith.